Hi everyone, I really hope you're enjoying this power saving vlog challenge, proudly sponsored by and a collaboration with Origin Energy. Now I am here at Bunnings and I'm here to check out all the different power saving devices and gadgets that are going to help me save more power and save more money. I've just found the cutest draft stoppers. <laughs> Bunny rabbits, lambs, puppy dogs, and Dalmatians. <laughs> now that you put these two underneath the door to stop the draft or cold air getting out, um, they're definitely worthwhile, especially if you have a ho an old home where there is, you know, over time there are gaps have built up. Um, solar powered garden lights. Just put this in direct sunlight for eight hours and it is fully charged. And they also have a matching one as a dog. Uh, definitely getting one of these. I'm cutting down the amount of crap that gets dumped in my letterbox which drives me nuts because it fills up my recycling bin and I simply do not want it in my home. So I'm saying no to junk mail. Okay, so I'm in the electrical section, aisle 63 to be precise. And um, the Bunnings um, staff have been very, very helpful. Um, one of the staff members has recommended this energy cost meter. Now, all you do is plug it into the wall, then plug the appliance in and it will help work out exactly how much energy you are using and if you realize that you're using too much energy you can then decide if you want to replace that item upgrade it to a more cost efficient um, energy efficient appliance the other thing he recommended was this an analog based um, timer so just like my smart plug um, from the origin energy um, home Q pack that I am using. This is, an, a, I guess, a more cost-effective version if you don't want to buy the pack yourself. This is he said, it's really easy to set up. It's actually more easy than the digital version that they also sell. You just put in the time, plug it in, and off you go. You don't need to worry about setting the time and, and programming it. He said this one is well worth the investment. Look, I just found some fans. Um, they come in summer and winter modes. Now, if you remember, I've spoken about this in my previous vlogs. I've talked about during winter time, you can actually use your fans because what it will do is push all the warm energy, or warm, warm energy, all the warm air at the top of the room in the, around the ceiling and push it back down. It's a really cost-effective way of warming up your home. So you can, and these are between 50 and $60. I mean, that can save you so much money over the course of winter. All right, I am now in the lighting aisle at Bunnings and I really want to talk to you guys about using LED lights to save money and power. But I'm going to say this for another vlog because I want to do a bit of a comparison and really show you what the true savings are both for energy and for money. All right, now I'm in the heating section and I'm surrounded by all these like electrical heaters. Now I've previously mentioned this is from the energy audit and the lady that came and did my energy audit. This is not a very efficient or economical way of heating your home. What she did say was look at getting a heated throw and she worked out roughly over about a 90 day period over winter um, using an electrical throw which you can put on the sofa or the bed ends up keeping you warm for about a cost of between $4 and $5 throughout winter whereas this can add substantial energy usage and cost to your power bill. Uh, look what I just found. Um, a few vlogs ago I talked about um, when you go to buy an appliance, whether it be for heating or for cooling, to make sure you measure the size of the room first so you buy the right size appliance so that it works efficiently and you don't end up overusing the product and, or appliance and the bill goes through the roof. Um, I've just found this chart here and it helps you work out what appliance is the right appliance for the size of the room. It's a guide. How helpful is that? Uh, check out all the sensor lights behind me. Now, I already have a sensor light installed in the front of my house. It is well worthwhile investment. If anyone wants to come into my house late at night, the lights will automatically switch on. I don't need to keep my outdoor lights on all night long and waste money and power. Definitely worth looking into. And they have a huge range of different styles. Uh, check out these baby solar um, pathway lights. Um, they're $4.50 each. Uh, so cute. And they also come in black really elegant and don't require any power because they're solar now behind me are a whole range of different gas heaters my home is connected to gas and it's the best way and the quickest way to warm up my home there's something about the warmth from a gas heater it's really toasty and cozy rather than what comes out of an electrical heater if you have the option of gas in your home 
I really do believe it's well worth the investment. Yes, you do have to buy these um, heaters, but if you can try and get one with a convection so it actually moves and like blows the hot air out, it is well worth it. It has really impacted and helped reduce my energy bills. And I've probably got had the same um, like a heater probably for like oh at least 10 years and it is still going strong. Mm -hmm.